The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. Good kid, real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?
Hey folks, how we doing? Welcome in. Hey folks. Oh, I've got a echo. Oh, I've got a. There it is. <laughs> That's uh, twice I've done that in like the last week. I'm uh, struggling apparently. Uh, Ren, first, congratulations, Beavers. Indeed, hype for the Beavers. Hype for the Beavers. Uh, yes, professional streamer I, that I am, Ren. That's right, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, Toby, I think you've gone to do laundry, have you? Uh, but, yeah, you a second. Welcome in, my friend, welcome in. And Cleepaw, coming in with, straight off the bat, with 7,250 bits. Thank you so much, Cleepaw. So close, so close. <laughs> So close, but yet so far. <laughs> and Blap, welcome in as well. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Only 15 times. Okay. That's a bit surprising, but... Yeah, <laughs> welcome in. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, it is time for Beavers. I didn't even look uh, how long it's been, cause I, but I think it's been quite a long time since we've I've had my Beaver out. So, it was about time, right? <laughs> So, yeah, but I hope everyone's doing well. And, um, yeah, let's see. I think, uh, if I remember rightly, we were... Which, in this case, I do, I think. <laughs> Sometimes I don't, but this time I do. We were trying to get the robot beavers going. So, that's, yeah, what these buildings are. And they're waiting for power, which I think we put some windmills here. Yeah, so that's really what we're looking for. You, uh, you saw my beaver today, yes. You see, you do see my beaver, usually on a daily basis, right? Uh, for the most part, anyway. Uh, so, September 7th. Oh my goodness, it's almost been a month since we were playing Timberborn. That is unacceptable on my part. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think, because I had a few, I had a number of days off, didn't I? Uh, and we were trying to get a couple of mine, well, the Minecraft project finished and so on and so forth. So yeah, wow. That's, that's too long. That's too long to be without a beaver, right? So I'm glad, uh, that we're back here again and we are, uh, not quite halfway through the drought. I believe it was a seven day drought. So three and a half days will be halfway, but you know, I, I think we're okay. Uh, these days with the drought. We do have this section here that's obviously run out of water, but that's fine. Uh, and then mainly, was it always like that? Zooming in and out, or was it a bit smoother? I don't remember it being like that, but maybe I'm thinking of other games. Uh, but yeah, the Robot Beaver uh, p factory, or uh, like, I think from what Jace was telling me about the, the Robot Beavers, they do... They require a lot of materials, and it does it does make sense with what I'm seeing here. My big fat head is in the way, but uh, yeah, basically for the there's three parts to the robot beavers. They have uh, their uh, f like their bodies, and then I think they have a head and then uh, limbs. And of course, I would presume that we need multiple uh, limbs on each on each robot. And uh, then obviously one head and one one chassis or body. So, but each of those things, yeah, it takes. So the sh the chassis takes biofuel, metal blocks, three of each of those, and fifteen planks to construct. And then the the robot limbs they each take uh, thirty six gears and twelve planks. I think. Or is that the storage? That's the storage. I'm lying. It's one plank and three gears. <laughs> uh, and the other one is five planks, one metal plank, and one biofuel. That sounds more reasonable, doesn't it? But yeah, so you can imagine, though, that's getting the point across that it is rather large uh, amounts of items that each thing is requiring. So that's a bit of an issue. And then we have the thing that actually puts them all together, I think, which I don't think... Did we unlock that yet? Bot assembler. We have it. Did I put that down yet? I can't remember. I don't think we did. I think I was planning on building up a bit more of the... Uh, what's it called? The stock, as it were. 
November, December, there will be many nights off. Uh, busy social calendar. Many is a comparative, uh, what do they call it? It's a word that is different, means different things to different people. I wouldn't say many. Relative, thank you, Ren. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. Because what, what is it, Clipper? Like three or four off in November? And then maybe a couple more, like four, five or six off in, uh, what's it called, December. If I remember that rightly. Maybe it's not even that, is it? I don't know. But, in any case, that's no excuse. Um, this long without without beavers is just not acceptable. So, yeah. I will... Um, I'll cop that one on the chin. That's clearly my fault. And I'll try not to... Um, I'll try not to do that again. Uh, let's get more potatoes in here, though. And yeah, we'll crack on. I think, uh, yeah, I think just moving things along, pushing ourselves towards the robot beavers is the way to go. And uh, I mean, I know we've seen, I've seen the robot beavers in Jace's stream, but there's obviously plenty of people who haven't seen uh, the robot beaver. So yeah, it'd be cool to get there today tonight if we can uh to be fair you distract me with penguins that's very true the zoo planet zoo did distract me pretty good and proper <laughs> so yeah that's um that's true uh can that do they not go over there they kind of maybe we need to put another platform here just to help them although yeah then we need stairs it's probably worth doing you know, uh, it's, it's a connectivity thing really, isn't it? If we know anything from, uh, what's it called? City Skylines. Uh, January, if the Sixers make the finals, <laughs> which of course they will. Well, I hope so. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I hope they do. Uh, I'm not sure that they've ever missed the finals, actually. Like, they've not got into the final, per se. But I don't think they've ever missed the final... The finals, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not feeling that well tonight. I um, This throat thing has come back. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling quite tired and a bit rough. So, hopefully that either improves or yeah we'll see how we go but check this i was trying to move move this across to um sunflowers wasn't i nice beaver thank you i pride myself on my beaver so the fact that you would say that uh, it means a lot to me dream it means a lot i <laughs> uh, hope you're doing well welcome in uh do we just I feel like we might just get rid of these carrots. No, I can't get rid of them. Okay. Oh, this one. What was that again? 85, 8, and 13. Well, we can get rid of those. 8 and 85. Okay. Now, can I plant the sunflower on top of the ones that I want to destroy? No. Okay. Fine. Uh, where are the lozenges you brought in? They are at work. But it's not really that type of sore throat. It's like, it's more the, um, the glands. That's the, where the pain I think is coming from. A jolly good beaver to you. <laughs> I like that. I like that. A jolly good beaver to you as well. Uh, yes. So, what have we got here? I've got to kind of reacquaint myself to 26 beavers that don't have jobs? Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see if we can remedy that somehow. How do we... How do we... What do we need here? So, they're still lacking water and stuff, aren't they? Maybe we need more water. 
things. Maybe we could have a couple of water things down here. Uh, because, to me, the more water they have, the better. Water dump. Oh, at least I can remember some of the controls here. Uh, so I think, yeah, we need to be, because the path, we need to be across by one. Why don't we put a couple of these here, I think. By a couple, I mean, I obviously mean four. And we'll do that. And let's pop some stairs here. Under a pile of crap on my desk, perhaps? Uh, is it just me, or was that some form of sass? <laughs> Not that you would suggest that uh, I have a messy desk. Well, yeah, I feel like that was a bit of sass, and yeah. Second of all, you know, pot and kettles and all that thing. <laughs> Thank you, Ren. 50. But just because it's true, though, Cleepor, that doesn't mean it's not sus. <laughs> but yeah, how rude. And in fact, no, they're not under anything. I know exactly where they are. They're underneath the um, monitor. Oh dear. <laughs> Plap, yes. Oh dear indeed. But, oh, this is all dried up. Oh, that's run out of water. Hmm. Rough. Yeah. I don't know why. We have a lot of water. Uh, but yeah. I don't, I don't know why they're hungry either. This is all dried up too, huh? Yeah, I do remember this being a slight concern actually when we um when we finished up last time. Uh Ren. Thank you so much for that gifted sub to Blap. Appreciate that. Never claimed uh not to be a fellow pig. That's true. I mean you didn't specify that just then, but yeah. I always feel like calling <laughs> <coughs> calling someone out potentially uh, implies that you're not you're saying that you don't think you, you're the same but I, I can I can see how it doesn't as well uh, do we put another dam here I feel like we do I feel like we need like as many dams in this space as possible floodgate uh, yes Thank you, uh, Rain again, and thank you, Blap, for the thank yous. It's, um... Oh, yeah, and enjoy the emotes and ad-free viewing once again. You're equally as messy and lazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it is it sass if I don't argue with that? <laughs> okay, these windmills... Uh, so they need gears. What have we got here? So that's the chassis. That's the... Heads. And that's the... Why did I put this here for? I cannot remember. Okay, chassis, limbs, and heads. Bot heads. Okay, and then we need... A beaver here. At least one beaver over sent over here. What have we got? Okay, only one. So, migrate population. 15 beavers in Johannes Beaver who are unemployed. And let's see. We want to go to Beaversburg. And a single beaver over there. And... How are we doing for housing in each of these places? Uh, but no free beds there. Uh, 
five free beds there, and I don't know why it took so long for me to recognize that was a five. That's concerning. <laughs> okay, now we have 19... 19 unemployed beavers. One homeless beaver, actually. Where is the homeless beaver? Does it tell us here? No. Oh, maybe on the far left there it tells us. I don't know why we'd have a homeless beaver. Let's check. Uh, Tilly is missing beavers. You texted her but haven't heard back. Blap, have you chatted to her today? Message her. She is on the way, pres uh, presumably. Pursu yeah, presumably, I think you mean. Uh, let's see. Beaversburg is the one that has the homeless beaver. Okay, so we need more housing here. Uh, let's see... Uh, let me, I just need to spin things around here. Yeah, we'll put the doors next to each other here. Oh, that's the wrong button. And then that way we can have the path come through, back through here for more housing. Okay, they're just all chilling out. Cool, 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 cool. So these windmills are taking forever for some reason. What are we missing? Gears, gears, gears. Okay. <laughs> now where are our gears again? Kari, hello, how you doing? <laughs> I broke it? <laughs> what did I break? Twitch. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? How are you? I broke everything. I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised. Sounds about right. Uh, lumber mill. Yes, okay, so we got one here. One here, and I'm pretty sure... Oh yeah, another one there. Pretty sure we got one over here too, don't we? At least one. Yeah. I mean, what plank, what's the plankage situation? 829 planks? I don't think it would be an awful idea to have more gear factory. Or have another gear factory. Good, uh, apart from just found your dog chewing on a tenor note. That's no good. <laughs> That's a fair assessment. I guess, yeah. <laughs> You're back from laundry. Welcome back, Toby, and congratulations on second, by the way. And yeah, hope hope you're having a good one. <laughs> he has expensive taste. I mean, it could have been worse, right? Could have been a 20 or a 50. <laughs> I don't think I don't think you have uh hundreds in um in the motherland, do you? Just goes up to 50. Cleepaw, thank you for that gifted sub to Kari. Even the 50 gets you looked at sus. Yeah, that's true. I used to get paid in, um, in cash when I worked over there. And... I'd, I'd quite often get um, 50 pound notes and especially because it was a small uh, community I was in in the, in silly it was uh, oh man that doesn't take long to dry up does it I think we yeah this the water is not ideal right like we need to figure out how to store masses amounts of water I think uh, but yeah, tr trying to change a 50 in a small uh, town is quite difficult <laughs> sometimes. Uh, but yes, enjoy the uh, gift sub, Kari, and um, enjoy the ad-free viewing and the emotes. And um, th 
thank you again, Cleepaw, for that gifted sub. Very appreciative. Uh, but yeah, we've got a lot of thirsty beavers here again, which is slightly concerning. I feel like having a district crossing here makes sense. Uh, it won't let me... Thank you for the more energy, Blap. Uh, it's plastic money. Uh, a bit of tape should sort it out. That's great. <laughs> for Dino... Uh, Darva Dino's for Darva, because he's not here yet. Yeah, that's a shame. It, it, I think Darva might struggle to, to make these these streams now, right? That's very sad. And it's going to be worse when he's um, changed over, but yeah. Have they... How uh, recently... Have they changed the notes to be even more plastic, Kari? Or... Because I know the Aussie notes are, like, full-on plastic, like... They're proper plastic, but I remember the, the notes over there were a little bit more... I think they might have... I mean, it's been a long time since I was over there, so... Things have probably changed since I was there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think... I think we need this here just to make things a little easier for them. Otherwise, they're having to walk around that way. Although, that's a different district, is it? Oh no, the district crossing is there. I've confused myself now. Oh no, that is a different district. Because this is uh, what do we call this one again? I've forgotten. But yeah, this is a different district, so yes, we definitely do it. <laughs> That's a cute one, Toby. <laughs> uh, they're getting more plastic now, so like more like our ones, right? Okay, let's see if we can get a district crossing here then. Uh, this one. And we'll just have to adjust these paths slightly. And... Yeah, that should be fine. In fact, we could even just put it here. Yeah, let's do that. It's just walking around the district anyway. <laughs> I don't even know why I bother having district crossings. <laughs> oh, maybe it needs to be closer. Uh, yeah, let's let's quickly actually. It probably won't make too much difference, actually, will it? It's still red. Yeah, it's fine. And, oh, in that case, let's uh, even, you know, once again, connectivity wires, let's do this. Nice. Right, okay. Looking good. Only one and a half days before the drought finishes. And things are dying over here. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. They're... Because they're wild, I think. Oh, this is all dried out. Rough. Uh, we can let more through, though, can't we? Uh, yeah, especially with only one and a half days left. We can let through. This is dried out here too, I would guess. Where am I? I'm lost. There. No, it's okay, actually. Okay. Still got hungry beavers here and there. I don't... I'm not sure why. There's so much food going... Tilly! Welcome in. How are we doing? Yes, let me get the... Let me get some satins in the chat for Tilly. 
Sutton's in the chat. Uh, and I guess, so grilled potatoes. Daylight savings is stupid. You don't cope with time changes. I, I guess we just, yeah, it's only like while you're readjusting, I suppose. Hopefully once uh, it becomes like the norm, uh, it should be, should be okay, question mark. I'm not sure. Hopefully. This thing's running out too, right? Like we can probably actually count how many are left in here now. Oh, I suppose there's still quite a lot, actually, when you look at it that way. Uh, but yeah, hope you're doing well, Tilly. Uh, and I hope you appreciate me having my beaver out today. We were discussing that... Oh, what's happened to the water that's just gone down there? Okay. Uh, we were discussing that it's been way too long since I had my beaver out. So, yeah, I don't know. Times just get gets away sometimes, right? <laughs> Car, are you like the, the beaver? Uh, oh, no power, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> this one beaver on the wheel is powering everything, <laughs> apparently. Uh, yeah, you like the beaver double entendres? <laughs> you love that I have my beaver out? Thank you. Uh, popped a, an exploration post in the random channel uh, in the... Oh, yeah, let me check that out then. Oh... Ah, oh. dried mother of millions flowers. They look like, they look a bit creepy or is that just, I think it might just be <laughs> me looking at it, like not enlarging the photo. Uh, the flowers are actually illegal to propagate uh, or distribute in your state. Uh, so you're going to seal them in wax uh, and they will stay confined to your cabinet. Cool. And you saw an elephant. Yeah, looks legit. And you mounted your grandmother's old embroidery scissors. Wow, they look cool. That's cool. That's awesome. I'm going to react to these. That's some good adventuring. Uh, have not had enough beavers in your life lately. <laughs> That's the point, really? To have a uh, beaver out, do you mean? Or... Uh, right, so, so the windmill. So really the only other means of power is the beaver wheel, isn't it, really, I think. Having said that, they are... They're working again. Is this not connected in any way? It doesn't appear to be, does it? It does need... I don't think I realised that needed power. I think that's the issue that we've encountered here. So... How do we get power to that? Let's um, go up here and go straight into the battery. I suppose. I think we need more batteries in this area as well. Can they reach that? Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, what? Mm. Yeah, maybe even just here is a good place to. Oh, to be odd and creepy. I see. I see. Well, they have that down pat. <laughs> Let's, um, yeah, see if we can put this, let's put a couple here, actually, and then we'll TNT some stuff out. I'm going to have to remove that, though. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Terraforming these. One, two, three, four. And have you ever played this game, Kari? Oh, we got a windmill here. Are they doing the thing? They are doing the thing, I think. 56%. 13. I think my head's in the way. 22. They're making... They're making robot beaver parts. Is that exciting or is that exciting? you never seen it before. Uh, I mean, considering you like City Skylines, you'd probably... Probably like this game. But yeah, it's... It's, they're re it's really cute. The little beavers running around. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Carrying all their stuff around. Yeah, very, very cute game. You see, yeah. <laughs> I'm explaining the obvious here. <laughs> Apologies. Oh, okay, so the drought is about to finish as well. So I just need to keep a, an eye on that. Robo beavers, yes, hopefully, hopefully. We need uh, the... We need this bot assembler, which I don't know where... Is that going to fit there? Oh, it will. Okay. Is that squishing everything in a little bit too much? Or... Maybe. How are they doing with this? So we've got gears. Okay, so... Maybe... Uh, could consider inviting a robotic beaver into your life, uh, thinking less drama than a living beaver. <laughs> $50 on Amazon. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, that's probably true, Tilly. <laughs> uh, okay, so what I was trying to think of, uh, before I got distracted by beavers is storage for the planks uh, so we've got plank storage here i wonder if we need a larger plank storage here we don't really have any log logging this is the only logging i wonder if i reckon we could quite easily have a second would it be a third a third lumberjack flag here uh because i think that would probably make sense they are terribly <laughs> terribly distracting yes they are. <laughs> uh, let's see. A lumberjack flag. Here. It would only do this area, but that's fine. And then we just need to check. So we've got three jobs that we need to fulfill here. Where are they? Not there. Here. They are here. So let's move some beavers across into District 9, the cursed District 9. I'm actually uh, uploading the all of the VODs at the moment to YouTube. And I think just yesterday I uploaded the VOD where we started District 9. So some folks may remember the disaster that was uh, District 9. <laughs> when we first started it. Thank you, Ren, for popping that into the um, into the chat. There's the link. Uh, if anyone does want to uh, uh, chuck a sub on the YouTube, it is literally unedited VODs at the moment. There's not much else on there, but yeah. Uh, it's got everywhere from the first stream all the way up to the... Yeah. Uh, I think it was around beginning to mid of July uh, where we had... The disaster that was District 9. <laughs> Love the movie. Yeah, I'd never seen it. It was actually Tilly who named it District 9. And um, I didn't really know what the reference was at first. And then we were informed. And yeah, District 9 failed pretty miserably. So you can watch how that starts to unfold. <laughs> uh, if if you wish on in that VOD. You remember that stream, Cleepoy? Yeah. The infamous District 9. 
Okay, so water's slowly coming back here. Just need to keep an eye on things. And then I feel like uh, having more water storage here is important. I just want to know that we have gears. So we've got one windmill still. Only one more gear there. 19 more gears there. Okay, rough. And log wires, we've got 4.1k. How many logs have we got in here? Just trying to make sure that storage wise we're okay. Uh, yeah, I think having a couple of large water tanks is going to be good here. Storage. So, like one up here, probably. Or down here, even. Yeah, let's tuck it in here, because it's closer to the crossing. Or, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Being very indecisive here. Uh, I kind of want to put it there now, which means we have to get rid of the dandelion things. Gets carried in by Dad Cat of Oz's cats. <laughs> Welcome in, Exo. Uh, how how was the ride? Hello there. Hello there, Riri. Welcome in as well. How was the ride on the cats? <laughs> With from the cats, maybe. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, and Riri, hope you're doing well, too. Uh, we can remove this stuff here. And remove this. Mark resources for demolition. There, those ones. The ride was scratchy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hope you're doing well, Riri. Um... And hello, show you the nearest cat ran. Who have we got? We've got, in fact, I think it's the same as yesterday. Pretty much. And actually, I've ran, I've just seen that uh, link in the YouTube thing is not correct. So apologies, anyone. <laughs> Let's try to click that. I don't think that will work. I'll just double check. No, yeah, that's incorrect. Uh, but let's find a cart. I've got one on the tower here again. <laughs> House ma oh. She's making a funny noise. The housemate befriended this beautiful fluffy cat the other day. It was so skinny. But fur was in beautiful condition, so unsure if stray. Hmm. Might be an older, older fluffy one. <laughs> Can you hear her yet? <laughs> I can't get her. Because <laughs> she's grabbing onto the tower. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Pull a cat out of a bag, huh? What do you think? <laughs> I don't know why you want to be on the tower anyway. It's really hot in here. <laughs> she doesn't like the camera. Yeah, I think it was more that I dared to pick her up from where she was. Um, but yeah. <laughs> she She's the drama queen though, right? So she's the one that's... Oh, what's happened here? Why are all these beavers thirsty? Ooh, is this a... Oh, hang on. The fl Okay, that was lucky. Oh, this is all flooding. Okay, I got distracted. I got distracted. <laughs> Someone distracted me with cats. <laughs> <laughs> we 
We fly. I mean, it wouldn't be a Timberborn stream without some form of distraction, though, right? I don't know why they're all so thirsty, though. Oh, I need to unpause these very quickly. And is this working? Uh, not quite. We need to start sending water in there as well. I don't know why they're so short. It just must be this district, is it? Oh, yeah, there's only three water in there. Ugh. Okay, that's all set up to start sending. Let's block that off and push this back. That whole area is flooding now. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, ADHD, right. Uh, never been diagnosed with it, but I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, skinny can mean hypothyroid, correct. Uh, housemate fed and watered it and received lots of love and, and purrs, but if it comes back, we're taking it to the vet to get chip scanned. That's a good idea. Uh, chip check, yes, is a good idea. Well, that's correct. Uh, awaiting your assessment. Ah, okay. Is this going the right direction? Yes. And let's turn that back on, I guess. Uh, pretty sure that was cat talk for uh, I will end the lives of you human uh, and all your species. <laughs> I'm calling in the catnip mech uh, for I, her, meow, oh my goodness, how, uh, my, <laughs> her meow, meow fluffiel, persfulness, Regina felinus, <laughs> the, the fourth, shall uh, be ruina ruination to the human species. Yeah. I'd say that sounds exactly correct, Dick. So that's exactly what Peggy was just saying. And yes, words are hard. <laughs> 18 month wait. Uh, and that's for a face cam assessment, not even a face to face. Oof. That's rough. I thought it was meant to be. Uh, oh, yeah, that's. It was just a fraction too late with that, opening that one. Uh, I thought the NHS was meant to be okay. <laughs> I mean, not brilliant, but okay. Uh, this needs to be open here as well, I think. And I might... It's adequate at best, fair. It sounds like... Well, I don't even know if... Ours is adequate anymore either, to be honest. They just keep taking money out of it, don't they? Which is never going to work for anyone. Okay, now all this is flooded too. So, you know, this is going well. This is going really well. Those words were hard for you too. <laughs> it's 6am for you and you've not begun to caffeinate. Well, that's, yeah, it'd be even harder without our caffeination. <laughs> Uh, they're only recently opening up to adults having ADHD. Hmm. Uh, Doc just kind of said, oh, uh, hadn't we already diagnosed you <laughs> with ADHD? Uh, here, have drugs, be functional. Yeah. Not sure it works exactly like that, though, does it necessarily? <laughs> but no, there does seem to be a bit of a lack of understanding in general, doesn't it? Doesn't there with that type of thing? Oh, okay, flooded here as well. Okay, well, we, you know, what's happened here is I managed to flood every single area that we have a floodgate. So, that's got to be something, right? That's got to be some type of record. Uh, okay, good. That's, <laughs> that's going again. All right. Okay. We're back in business. Uh, were these thirsty beavers still thirsty? They are still very thirsty. Okay. Let's get more pumps then because that will help us because we have the beavers to work. So yeah, may as well. And then the water is there now. Uh, 
I don't like that pet path set up, but that's, I guess, what we have. <laughs> you know how they feel. <laughs> okay, that's going okay. All right, we appear to be kind of back in business here. I just, we just really need these. And then, do we have any... So, we've got two unemployed beavers here. We need one more, because we've got three of those. None of them are, like, going to keel over here, are they? Mm, no, they're okay, kind of. Are they importing water? They are not much, though. So, perhaps... What have we got in terms of transport here? This one is transport. Hauling post, that's full. That one, that's full, too. So, maybe we get another transport post. Uh, how much water's here, though? There doesn't seem to be much water here, either. Man, water... Water is a problem. Yeah, there's not much water here. So, that's also a problem. So... Hauling post. Pop one of these somewhere. I don't want to squish it too much in with everything. Maybe here actually would make sense. Because they will be transporting things. Oh, that's a hauling post there too. Okay, this. Let's get more here then. And that will help. And I, I still think we do another one, though, to be honest. Let's uh, line them up, actually. Like so. There are, there's a lot of thirsty beavers here. It's concerning me now. Uh, all of these... Yeah, they all seem to be... They've all got beavers in them. Okay. Yeah, I reckon we just need a whole bunch of storage for water. Really just try and bring as much water in as possible. Okay, so we've got one bot head, four bot limbs, and no chassis yet. Oh, all of these thirsty beavers here. It's very concerning. Hmm. Is this another repeat of District 9? The District 9 situation? And there's some down here, too. <laughs> yes. It's, um... It's a bit problematic. It's a bit problematic. Uh, we could definitely do with more... Potato cooking as well. Cleep! <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Cleepor, thank you so much for the 5,000 bits. <laughs> and yes, Ginny is yours. By by 750 bits as well, not by a, a small margin. So in, enjoy Ginny. Uh, now that means I need to... Um, I need to get Fluffy ready. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Cleepor. Uh, yeah, 5,000 bits. Amazing. And that's on top of the, what was it? 7,250 bits from earlier. <laughs> How does Ron feel about this? <laughs> <laughs> Good question, actually, Curry. I haven't actually asked Ron. <laughs> I probably should, right? <laughs> I told you today to get the fluffy emote ready. <laughs> I, I thought you said you were going to wait, though. Oh, my goodness. But in any case, thank you again. Uh, yeah. I appreciate, I appreciate it a lot. And now you have Ginny. <laughs> no pressure. 
I tried to get a photo of her before, but um, she ran away from me. Fluffy, she's not the... Uh, don't like... Don't like people all that much. Okay, so are they filling anything up? I'd imagine that they're... So do we have any water storage over here? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'd imagine that they're... The water's getting consumed faster than they're able to create it at the moment. Uh, but at least some of them are going in and getting the water. Which is good. There she is, Ginny. <laughs> Ginny. Ginny in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> she looks a bit cross, doesn't she, actually? <laughs> and you'll also have the the Ginny bit badge Cleepore too. Although I don't know that you can change that over in mobile. Because uh, you've got the sub one there at the moment, the gift sub. Better start working on Tammy as well. <laughs> oh no, that's 20. That'd be like Tammy is another 50,000 bits away. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Tammy is a long way away. I think a hauling. So this is a hauler post. Okay, we don't have enough beavers here. I'm going to put this all the way up to full. And then we've got four unemployed. Oh, that's not enough. Okay, where are they? I did put the hauling post jobs up in the other one too, didn't I? We got two homeless beavers there too, which I'll need to address in a second. Okay, so let's send these ones over to Beaversburg. Uh, Uh, you shall give me a pay rise. Okay, I'll give you, uh, twice of what you're earning now. <laughs> How's that? Is that reasonable? Double, double your wage. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I think so. I think that's a very reasonable deal. Okay, there still isn't enough water. Okay, there's stairs down here. Let's get uh, some more stairs. And... Yeah, we'll put more water pumps in here. Feels like it's kind of overkill, but I think it also needs to be overkill. Too far from the district. That's okay. We'll put paths in here. Don't worry, game. We got this. Two times zero is still zero. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, I feel like the the thirsty beavers are kind of not as thirsty anymore. Kind of, maybe, somehow. Thank you, Ren, for popping that in there. Uh, let's get rid of that. Are they still really struggling to chop down all of this wood here, aren't they? Uh, I'm not opposed to having a fourth lumberjack beaver here. Oh, the housing. I needed to fix the housing, didn't I? So down here, what have we got? 
It's really awkward space. Uh, I think we can have, yeah, one of them there. And then maybe we have some opposite here as well. And how's the thirsty beavers going? Yeah, we've only got kind of two or three over here now. A couple of hungry beavers down here, hungry and thirsty beavers here. There is food up here though. I mean the food is is seems like a bit of an issue. I don't know why they don't don't go and get the um the berries. But yeah, I feel like we need to ramp the food production up a little bit too. Uh I know we're growing a lot of food, they just don't seem to be kind of processing it quickly enough. Benefits of working for a charity with no money, yeah. <laughs> Um, with you there, Cleepor. Uh, so maybe efficient farmhouse. Can we do with this? Oh, we do have another efficient farmhouse up here, don't we? Yeah. So I think having a third one at the very least, maybe even more, might be beneficial. So, let's uh, make sure we include that whole area. Pop that one there. Live in the dream. <laughs> the dream aesthetic, maybe. And we'll pop another one here. Then they can't get access up here. So what if we put it there? We can build we can bring a path through. They've still got pretty much the whole access there all together. Cool. Okay. Not too many warning signs here for beavers. Just one or two here and there. Not sure why, I think I just put that there for symmetry sake, but now I don't know what <laughs> what to put in it. Uh, dream aesthetic gets to drive uh, tanks and fly planes and shit, yeah. <laughs> he, uh, dream aesthetic is really living the dream. Do, can you turn the berries into anything? Because we seem to have an awful lot of them and they don't seem to like them. So I don't know if we can... we got bakery things over here, don't we? Oh, they're not doing anything. Uh, what are they missing? Wheat flour. They're missing cattail flour and wheat flour. Okay, so wheat flour is clearly quite a large issue. What's the issue here? Why is this beaver not available or there's not enough electricity maybe? Yeah, I don't think there's quite enough electricity. Oh, this thing is built. Let me explode those. That's going to help. And we'll put more TNT down there too. Yeah, it's using that up pretty quickly. It's quicker though, so it is an electricity issue. Uh, but I think we could have more wheat. So how are they doing for wheat? So they've got nowhere to put the wheat by the looks of it. Uh, no, they, yeah, they're just sat around. I don't know why they're not... Oh, okay, yeah, they don't have anywhere to put it. Gotcha. So more wheat storage for a start. And then maybe more hauler beavers. We are just running out of beavers at this point, though. So what's in here? 
Spatterdock. Let's change that to wheat. And then we'll do... I guess we need a smaller space for the spatter dock. Cleepaw, thank you for that gifted sub. To Denny Plumbob. And Clee on fire, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you so much, Clee, for that gifted sub. Appreciate that. And Denny, enjoy the emotes. Enjoy the ad-free viewing. More wheat here. Okay. I didn't... I'd forgotten that I'd done that, actually. Uh, but Spatterdock, we need a section for... Let's change this. So, the, we got gears there. Let's change this to Spatterdock. Ah. Okay. Looking good. We're looking good. Uh, what I did want to check was District 9. And so we've kind of sorted out the housing. We don't have any homeless beavers. Uh, I wanted to check what their situation was in terms of their well-being. So we've got the little little beaver hospital down here. These poor beavers, they're a bit sick, so that's good. We got the shrine and stuff. Wonder if we could put a Lido down here. Uh, rooftop terrace, Lido. District nine, isn't that uh, where the alien cockroaches are kept? <laughs> I understand, it's my understanding that there's a movie uh, that is related to District 9. I haven't seen the movie, but yes, it's my understanding that uh, it is. Okay, there we go. Denny, thank you so much for coming in and saying thank you. And um, don't feel like if you were lurking that you can't continue to lurk. Please feel free to continue to lurk. But I really appreciate you coming in and saying thank you. And uh, yeah, welcome in. And yeah, hope you enjoy the, the emotes and the ad-free viewing. Okay, I think that's pretty... I mean, we could have a Lido here too, couldn't we? With a little bit of clearing. We may as well just clear all of these. I see that there's stuff over there that hasn't been cleared yet. So, I don't know what's going on. Uh, some people are not as cultured as us. Apparently not. <laughs> uh, knew Tilly would know the answer to that question. Yeah. Well, Tilly, Tilly was the one that came up with the name. So, that does make sense. It does make sense. Alright, did they put the TNT down here yet? Yes. Nice. What does that give us now? 10,000. Not sure if I'm able to do another one, if they are able to reach it or not. Because it might be too far for them to put the stuff into. Uh, it reckons that they can, so we'll try it. At least it's not saying that it's unreachable. Okay, I'm tempted to have another Lido here. Because that would not be District 9. That would be actually this district. They already have that Lido. So maybe not. 
It's a long way for them to go to get the... Ent what do they call it? Entertainment? What is that? Uh, not... No, I wanted that. Uh, or well-being, I suppose. Temple. Ooh, get that. Oh, yeah, I think we were looking at these last time, too. They're cool, but they are expensive. 150 logs. 60 planks. That's a lot. And the carousel, we put one of those around the other side. They're really cool. The mud bath. Uh, that's not too bad. Oh, we don't have access to mud yet, though. So, I mean, we may as well lock, unlock this stuff, though, right? Dirt excavator. Yeah, this is the even the dirt ex excavator is very expensive. <laughs> Got wood. <laughs> With all these beavers around, you'd hope so. Uh, the E, the X, uh, the O, X, O. <laughs> Terraforming station. Let's unlock that. And then terrain block. Let's unlock that. Oh. Uh, an artificial block of terrain built by the terraf uh, terraforming station workers. Okay. Uh, employs bots which place terrain blocks. Ah, okay. So the terraforming station is only able to be uh, used by the beaver bots. And heavy duty mining rig. Oh, look at that. For collecting dirt. Bot only. Okay, so that's really what we're working towards by making the bots. Uh, try not to spend his hard-earned cash on all that beaver. <laughs> you, uh, being uncharacteristically careful with money tonight. I am. The beavers don't use money, though, do they? Surely we're coming close to offending the Twitch TOS by now. No, uh, you're allowed to pretty much say anything you want. The only thing they might do is slap a 18 plus or like a... I mean, I don't class myself as family friendly anyway, so there's no issue with that. It's just whether, <laughs> it's just whether they... Um, oh, does this need power? Oh, no, I didn't put a recipe in here. Okay. Yeah, it's just whether they would make me put a mature audience thing on it, which I don't think they would. I don't think I don't think they would for for Beaver double entendre. I don't think that's would be required an 18 plus thing. <laughs> the T, the O, the B B Y, Toby. <laughs> and uh, uh, <laughs> That's a great that's a great typo you made there as well, Exo. <laughs> You're not family friendly either. Nothing wrong with liking Beaver, that's true. That's true. Come to think of it, uh you're just not uh friendly, period. <laughs> no, I well it depends on who, I think, Tilly. Uh you're quite friendly to me, which I, I like. <laughs> Can I place it over the top of that? Oh, it's outside where they can reach. That's why they're not getting those. Okay, so we just need to build a path through here, I think. Okay, that explains it. Yeah, now that's included, so they'll be able to go over and get those. Uh, how can I be family friendly if I have no family? <laughs> uh, when the munchies kick in and you devour a whole sleeve of Weetabix. <laughs> we call them Weetabix over here though, Kari. We, we don't have the A. But yeah, that's a lot of Weetabix. Did you have, um... Did you have milk with them, or did you just have them have them dry? Because that would would um, be even more even more like desperate, right? <laughs> the munchies. We also sodomize marmite. You mean Vegemite? <laughs> Ice cold milk. Yeah. 
got to cut out all the unnecessary syllables, but also add unnecessarily uh, unnecessary syllables where possible, particularly in names, right? Particularly in names. <laughs> Who eats dry wheat bix? Well, I wasn't sure, you know. Kari sounded pretty hungry. <laughs> A whole sleeve of them. I don't eat wheat bix anyway, but. <laughs> I think Vegemite has flavor too, Kari. It's Marmite. <laughs> get some flavor they taste i mean i get, there's definitely a difference between the two but they taste pretty similar people who who we can't trust clipor <laughs> all right how how are they doing here okay we don't we theoretically have enough uh, things to make one robot beaver. Should we do that? I'm keen. Uh, obviously we need this first though. <laughs> so we're actually, yeah, probably a fair way away because this bot assembler might take the rest of the stream to actually for them to build. Uh, planks, a hundred planks. I mean, we've got the planks. It's just a matter of them getting to that location. Uh, gears, metal blocks. Okay. Same thing, just weaker flavor. Okay. <laughs> it depends how much you put on it, though, right? Like, when I have uh, Vegemite, I like a, a pretty thick slather of it. Which, um... You know, that ends up becoming quite strong. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I just feel like we're just not producing enough stuff, really. And, yeah, I guess that comes down to beaver population. But also, I suppose the food and water is kind of an issue as well. So, oh, I need to put that as water. Yeah, I mean, the, the water storage is quite low. We were around 4,000 before, I think. So... Where is this unemployed beaver? Let's just see if we can put... Uh, unable to get all the required materials. Okay. What's happened? No available worker in district. Oof. Must maintain the beaver, yeah. You like Promite? Uh, might be controversial. I've heard of it, but I don't really... I don't know that I know what it is. Never heard of it. <laughs> Obviously, it's not in the UK then. Yeah, it must be an Aussie thing. Don't know anything you talk of here. <laughs> Vegemite is a very salty, uh, delicious spread that you usually have on toast for the most part. And the Poms knocked it off with their Marmite. And... Yeah, that's the story. <laughs> a beef oxo cube, toast, butter, crumble the oxo all over it. The problem is, Kari, that I'm vegetarian, so I can't have uh, beef. I'm, a beef oxo cube, I assume, is like a stock. Like beef stock, is it? Uh, Bovril is better than Marmite. <laughs> uh, gravy mixed. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yeah, it might. I guess it would depend how close you, like the veggie cube was to the, the other one. Surprisingly Marmite flavored. Really nice on toast. Interesting. Uh, you're a pescatarian. Uh, you see food, you eat it. <laughs> I'm not sure if we have a... I know Ren added a dad joke counter for when I make a dad joke. I don't know if we have a, a chat dad joke 
command. <laughs> but it made me chuckle, Exo. <laughs> I like it. Alright, so how are we doing here? Waiting for materials. Yeah, that this could take a little while. Uh, yeah, I don't know how we get more plank, more plankage. I suppose we, I mean, we could put another, another plank sawmill thing here. This power supply is barely, oh no, it is actually 552, 320. I think we need some batteries here though, for sure. Need to figure out how we can do that. Uh, that's what uh, that one's not set up for chat. Yeah, I didn't think so yet. Is the is the correct? Yeah, that's that's what we're thinking. Exo. <laughs> really want to make a bad joke. Make a bad joke. Uh, let's see. So if we go up here. Put this this battery somewhere. I wonder if we flatten this out a little bit. And then we can do another TNT down there. Uh, your diet is uh, quite multicultural. You like fish, fla f fish flavored beef taco. <laughs> uh, that one's not a dad joke, but it's still, <laughs> it's one of those, so silly, it's funny, right? <laughs> still bad. <laughs> well, it made me chuckle. You'd have fish sauce on everything, Dream. So, I wonder though, I mean, we have 895 planks. It's just a matter of the transport, really, isn't it? The gears to, are the ones that we're kind of struggling more with. And, of course, the issue is that the gears take planks. So, maybe we should just have another plank thing here. Lumber mill. We don't have enough beavers still. Uh, let's see. I wish this menu is uh, confuses me quite a lot. I wish there was an easier way they could uh, make this menu. Because, yeah, I'm struggling to figure out where the jobs... Where we're missing the beavers. Or where the vacancies are. That, this area, okay, that farming area doesn't have any beaver working at it. Neither does that. Okay, so District 9, I think, needs more beavers. Uh, Queen, how you doing? <laughs> Am I having a damn good time? Over here, this is where I have the damn good time, right? <laughs> There's another another dad joke uh, for the chat. I think it sounds like we need that. Is there a mod for the menu? I doubt it. I don't think there are any mods for this game, to be honest. I mean, I haven't really looked, but there's no there's no workshop on Steam for it. There might be uh, third party mods, or like you know what I mean, not third party mod because I guess they're all third party mods technically. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, hang on, I missed some stuff here. Do, uh... The big debate, everyone's opinions, please. You must choose one. Tomato ketchup or barbecue? If I only could choose one, I would definitely do tomato ketchup. I mean, we just call it tomato sauce here. Uh, do beavers like fish sauce? <laughs> what? Beavers don't eat fish, do they? They eat, like, vegetable. They're vegetarian animals. Uh, where the beavers are, you struggle with that too. Just hope uh, that they will come to you. <laughs> yes. Super cool ant. <laughs> Welcome in. 
how are districts working? Uh, well, basically, you have this district center, and you have this outline, and that within that district center, you can push the paths further out, but uh, they start. You can see where it's starting to get red. That's where they start to kind of get a bit tired, and it can they can get injured. So what you can do is uh, set up how to use. Yeah, so you, if you set up a second district, so we've got this district over here. This is a second district. And what you then need is these district crossings. And what they do is they enable the beavers to uh, kind of, I guess, uh, transport items between the districts. Uh, and they're found in this district management menu. So the new, the district center is there. So you can just place that wherever you want, really. Uh, that'll go wherever you want. And then the district crossings, they have to be in between those two. And the paths go through to uh, the district crossing. And that's how they transfer goods back and forward between the two districts. We've got, uh, what, four districts here now, I think. So we've got uh, the Beaversburg here the original uh, Johanna's Beaver and District 9 and this Cape Town District as well. So yeah, it works quite well. And I think because when they, if they do, if they on the red too much, I think they, yeah, they might injure themselves or there's a higher chance of them injuring themselves. Uh, so it's better if you can to try and, uh, keep it outside of the, yeah, keep it with orange, yellow or orange, and then that way you're not, um, overworking them. But I hope you're doing well, uh, Super Cool Ant. That's a funny name as well. Uh, add it to the Wednesday list. Uh, are there mods for Tim? I don't, yeah, I don't think there is. Using, uh, mods in Timberborn is not, uh, currently a streamlined process for installing Timberborn mods. There are a couple of, uh, mod managers and the manual installation route. Okay. So, obviously, yeah, they're not, there's no, it's not like City Skylines or even The Sims 4 where there's, like, a bit more of a process or a setup kind of thing for it. But yeah, I don't know, I just, I, maybe other people don't have a problem with that menu. Uh, I just, uh, yeah, I find it a bit difficult to read. I think maybe because it, it quite, uh, you have to re remember what the symbols are for each thing. I mean, some of them I, I know, like these are the district centers, these are the district crossings. But is that the farmhouse? Yeah, but you know, it's a little bit confusing. I find anyway. And then like, yeah, I don't know if, if they're being, if they're paused, whether that's counted as well or what, I don't know. Even for you, it's a bit uh, rough. I think this would make or break me playing this game. Yeah. I mean, look, I don't use that too much. Like I tend to generally look at the district that itself. Uh, so, like, if you click on here, it tells you over here what's required and, and where in the in the top left corner. So, I mean, here, so in this District 9, we have 12 jobs that are waiting to be filled. And you don't necessarily need to know where the jobs are, I suppose, unless you're trying to prioritize a resource. Uh, but in that case, you're probably going to click on the building anyway, right? So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you can change the working time. Uh, yes, uh, 16 hours top right or rise or lower the birth rate. Oh, is that lower? Uh, does that affect the birth rate? Does it? If they're working less, do they? Do they do more? Is it working less? They they breed more. Scarlet Johannes Beaver. <laughs> yes. Do we have a Justin Beaver? I don't, we should, we don't, we usually do name the beavers after everyone in chat. I haven't, we haven't done that for a while. Less work, more children. Okay, good to know. Let's do, let's do 14 hours then. Thank you very much, Super Cool Ant, for that. Because I'm still pretty new to this game. I, um, what have I got now? Yeah, I've only got like approaching 50 hours. So I'm relatively new uh, in that regard. Uh, let's see... But I would still recommend this uh, game, Queen, uh, because it's yeah, and I don't think you necessarily 
need mods for it. It is still, I think they're still developing it to some degree too, because every time I log out, it asks for feedback. Throw a concert and invite Justin Bieber. <laughs> Let's um see who we've got left here. I don't imagine we have any of the, the named Beavers left, because, yeah, it's been a while since I named them. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Let's see. No, I can't see any named beavers here. Everyone died. <laughs> That's right, Cleepor. Uh, so let's see. Let's name some then. All right. So, Cle. Oops, Clee Beaver. Uh, who else we got here? Ren Beaver. Uh, super cool ant beaver. They died too fast. Yeah, gone too soon. Queen beaver. <laughs> queen beaver. H2O queen. Uh, a dream beaver. <laughs> and let's see. Akari beaver. I know we have Exo here. Who else? Oh, Tilly. I, I think Blat might be lurking as well. Oop. Have I missed anyone who was here before? I'm just scrolling. Oh, Toby. And I'm naming the child beavers so that I don't have to name them <laughs> as quickly again. <laughs> that's that's the logic here. Uh, I think... Oh, uh, Denny was here before. Maybe Denny's still lurking, but no need to unlurk. I think that's pretty much it for now, anyway. Uh, yeah, got Exo. Did you die again? <laughs> You're unreliable. <laughs> okay, cool. I think that's everyone for now. If anyone else comes in, like if Darva decides uh, to wake up, then we'll we can get a Darva Beaver. Old man, totally a Beaver. <laughs> Okay, so we have just those bits that they're waiting for. And the good news is, is they seem to be a bit happier in terms of the water at the moment. So, uh, yeah, that's that's good sign. And how are they doing with this now? Are they doing better with the wheat? Doesn't really seem like they are, does it? Uh, so they've got wheat here though, and then we've got gristmill, gristmill. Do we need more gristmills? But yeah, again, we just seem to be short beavers. Okay. Maybe, maybe another gristmill. Chestnuts, cattail flower. Hmm. So there's weed in there. It's just a matter of them. So hopefully these batteries will will help. <coughs> ah, cough. Cough doesn't like to go away. Maybe we need more power sources here as well. I'm kind of avoiding using the beaver wheels because... Yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a waste of a beaver, right? Kind of hoping that with the between the batteries and the uh, stuff, then yeah, the batteries and the windmills, we might be okay. Uh, K Case Felix, is that how I say that? Thank you for popping in. Uh, I feel like the game gets worse uh, once you play it on hard because you just have to do population control and you do 
Uh, and you need to dam a huge area of the map as water reserve. Yeah, I, I'm playing on, uh, I think, normal mode. But certainly probably what you'd call, like, mid to late game, right? So, it does seem like, yeah, a lot of it is population control. Like, just trying to push the population up. And then in that case, I guess, though, that does come with the challenge of balancing out the water and the food consumption and making sure you have enough. Uh, which is, yeah, that can be a bit tricky depending on, especially like in this situation where I am in now, I just don't have enough beavers to really make sure that I'm producing enough food, apparently. Even though there appears to be a whole bunch of food in here, there does occasionally, like this beaver over here, is hungry and thirsty for some reason. Uh, even though there seems to be ample food up there, but yeah. Uh, I guess it's one of those things, right, where certain games will get to a bit of an end point where they're, uh, you're kind of trying to, yeah, manage things, uh, in a way that suits, suits best, I suppose. I don't know. Uh, Beaver Wheel is your favorite <laughs> typing too fast. Yeah, it's really cute, but I don't know. I feel like it's, it's a bit of a waste of a beaver. It is very cute though. You can be both hungry and thirsty. Yeah, I know. I, I was... I don't... Uh, I just don't want them to be hungry and thirsty. That's all. But yes, the, the beaver will is cute. I feel like the beavers are better used to look at his little arms. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like the beaver... The beavers are better used in, you know, making things. Uh, can the beaver... The beaver robots can't go on those, can they? Beaver only, yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is the problem, of course, when you have when you're relying on the windmills only, is that things will stop working eventually if there's no wind. Okay, let's put some batteries here then. Uh, how we hook those up, I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, battery, let's put a whole bunch. And I don't know... They probably can't get up to there. Can They should be able to place it one block down, though, I think, shouldn't they? If we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... I don't know why I was counting those. There was absolutely no requirement for that. Uh, differences are insane, like on normal difficulty, max, max droughts, length, late game is seven days. Yeah, I've had a couple of seven, uh, I've had a couple of nine, a nine day drought. I think that's the most I've seen. For hard, it's 29 days. That is, that is a long time without the water. Uh, of around three to eight days until the next drought. Wow, that's very, very quick succession of droughts as well as a long one. Also, you realize that beaver power is a must if water wheels are off uh, for 75% of the time. Yeah, that's true. I don't, I've only got one water wheel here, I think, actually, in this whole thing, which is right in the start area. Uh, because with the droughts, I did find that very unreliable. But the windmills aren't that great either, right? So that's why I'm going he heavy with the batteries, because I feel like if you have a lot of batteries, at least that can be storing energy when the wind is, is blowing. Uh, but yeah, it's... It does seem like... I don't know if the electricity side of it is all that well balanced in the game. But, yeah, I mean, I maybe there's another type. Like, like, so, for example, and I don't know how they would implement this in the game. Uh, because I was going to say with the droughts, you know, maybe they should be trying to think about solar power. But I don't know how beavers would figure that out right like windmills are one thing solar power is another i suppose isn't it or whether they could figure out uh like if you're using the sun to heat something up and then you get that steam effect or something maybe that's something that they could 
that the beavers might figure out. So if they like, you know, use water to make the steam with the with some sort of uh, geothermal type setup, especially if the droughts are really hot, you know, that would ma might make sense. Uh, how to remove a road from a bridge. I would imagine that you very carefully have to... Well, these bridges are just a road anyway, aren't they, right? But if you're talking about these, you just have to do it like that, right? So you zoom in and then grab that bit. And that will only delete the road and not the actual thing. But th this is a road and a bridge, so you'd have to delete everything for that. I w my understanding is on that. Yeah. Hmm. So this is good. So 24,000 horsepower here. It's building up a little bit there. Or max a maximum of that amount, anyway. But yeah, these are getting wasted while they're blowing and not... Uh, or while the wind's blowing and they're not getting anything. What's this one doing? Yeah. See, I feel like I could certainly have more windmills here. Especially at the moment when I'm lacking the beaver workforce, right? Uh, I feel like the the beaver workforce, having beavers on the wheels, isn't that uh, beneficial to me. But yeah, how are they doing here? So we need only seven more metal blocks and 22 more gears. And we will have a robot, a bot assembler. And then we'll have a robot beaver. I don't know what that robot beaver is going to do yet. <laughs> Maybe we should build, we should start building something that they can do. The dirt excavator. Man, that needs a lot of power. Exo has grown up. <laughs> Super cool ant grew up as well. Any other beavers? They ha have a whole lot of beavers there. Uh, the no, that was the day before. There's a whole lot that were born though there. That might have been when we changed the thing. Uh... Yeah, there was a bit of a bit of a turnover there. We had some die and some be born. So we kind of evened out there. But yeah, we're we're certainly lacking. So we've got 20 jobs that are required here. So probably need to get there's three unemployed beavers, so let's try and figure that out. So we got one unemployed beaver there. No unemployed beavers there. Oh, so it's all over in Cape Town. Only one. No jobs there, that makes sense. No jobs there, that makes sense. So what are the jobs here that they're missing? If it's the farm over here, I'll probably send them to here, right? Yeah. So let's send them both over there to District 9. Uh, let's see, District 9... From Johannes Beaver 1. And... It was this one, wasn't it? Yep. To District 9, 1. Perfect. Okay. Now, yeah, it's really just a matter here of consolidating. Trying to get some more beavers born and growing up. 24 beavers waiting to grow up. We do seem to have solved the food and water issue, which is good. Yeah, trying to just, like, build up the water as well before the next drought, I think, would be good. Ah, see, Builder's Hut. Do we really need that? I don't think we do. Let's pause that building. I think when I when we were first opening up the builders uh, the this area I put that there. But yeah, we really don't need a builder's hut there anymore, I don't think. I 
Uh, if anything, I feel like we need more transport beavers. Because, yeah, they can't seem to get the planks around in time. But, yeah. Try and make sure we've got all of the farms and everything covered first. Did they go to the farm? No. Yeah. I think perhaps what might help as well for what I was talking about before with that overlay or that info thing here. Having perhaps a symbol over the top of the building that is... So like this one here, for example, needs workers. You can't see it because my head's in the way, but if they had like a little icon over the top of the building, that would probably, like with the pause thing, that would probably help. That way you can easily identify... Uh, what buildings require what. And, that, you know, obviously they can do it. They've got the pause one, they've got this one as well. So there's obviously a way that they can do it. How much stuff have we got? Four, ro ro uh, four bot chassis, uh, 20 robot limbs, and two robot heads. Okay, so we can make at least two robot uh, beavers, uh, which is good. Auto save. Yep. I still don't know what I was planning to put in there. Paper. What are you making? Grilled potatoes. What have we got here? Just potato storage. Maybe. Oh wow, they can store a lot of potatoes there, huh? Maybe we change this to grilled potatoes then. They're not storing potatoes in there anyway. It's paper, and then, yeah, that's fine for now. Still not getting those. Alright, where else did I put dynamite? It was it over here, wasn't it? I can't, I don't think they can reach it, can they? What did I already, no, it is down there. <laughs> Okay, cool. It's hiding right underneath. Curse you, Daylight Savings. <laughs> Welcome in, Dava. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Uh, let's get a Dava beaver in here, then. Yeah, it's only going to get worse, too, isn't it? Which is a little rough for everyone. Uh, did the dinos for the... Yeah, that's true. Ren, uh, Ren, Ren had you back there. So. <laughs> okay. I definitely feel like we need to make at least one robot beaver. So we only need uh, 13 more gears. Also aware that shortening the workday hasn't helped with that. <laughs> maybe we go back up, maybe we'll go back up to 16 again. Oh no, we'll split the difference. We'll, go, we'll stay at 15. Uh, what is this? Oh, interesting. Storage overlay. Hadn't clicked that before. Good to know. Good to know that's there. What does that do? I have to look. Yeah, I'm not sure what that does. Short and work day? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if we'll get the start of another drought at this point. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's um, just push that up to there. Just build that back up a little bit. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it, Clipor? Having a slightly shortened workday. Look, get ourselves over here for the beaver peak hour. Still think this is my favourite spot to... Watch the beaver peak hour. Here they come. <laughs> you 
You don't even accept eight hours at this point, right? <laughs> I wonder as well if we remove some of these beavers now, because we're not really... We I think we've pretty much unlocked everything, have we? Maybe not. No, we've still got these monuments, although we can unlock them now. 3,000, quite easily. Fourteen, uh, 12,000, yes, easily. Fountain of Joy. Ooh. That's, yeah, it's costing us too much. Whoa, look at the area of effect on that. Holy moly. Uh, but yeah, it's going to cost us a little bit too much to put in at this point. Uh, Brazier of Bonding and Farmer Monument. But yeah, if we unlock all of this, we could even turn that, that observatory off. It's a cool building, but I feel like we need the beavers elsewhere at this point. Uh, we haven't unlocked any of this, but let's just go through and unlock everything. What are these? Long suspension bridge. Gonna have a nap, but now Darva is here. You're too scared. <laughs> uh, yeah, now we can probably even just turn these buildings off. Observatory, because we've literally unlocked everything. And even the, the science buildings here, right? Venter building. And utilize these beavers elsewhere. So now we have 11 unemployed beavers. So this is really good. So let's see. Uh, six jobs over here that require beavers. So Johannes Beaver to Beaversburg. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, need to unlock every workplace for bots, uh, so you can let them work there. Uh, I've already unlocked everything though, I think. Because the, the workplace ones, the bot workplaces, right, are in here, right? These ones? <laughs> Thank you, Blap, for the more energy. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, these ones. It, is there more to unlock once you actually... I mean, I've still got 5.5k points left as well, even after unlocking everything. Is there more to unlock once you actually have them in the... Um, once you actually have the buildings built? Uh, what was I doing? Transferring beavers around. That's right. So 10, how many there? Four. Yeah, see again, this is where it'll be handy to know. So that building is missing uh, a beaver, which is one of the more important ones. Uh, if you have the bots, every building you already build has an unlock. Ah, in the building itself, which would allow robots to work in that specific building. Interesting. Okay. Uh, that is interesting to know. It's only there if you have the bots. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So, I can always reopen those buildings, right? So, for, I'll, for now, while because we've still got, what, four more gears here. And then we still need to actually build the bots. So, but thank you, uh, Felix, for letting me know. That is good to know. And yeah, I was thinking I need to, so like this uh, dirt excavator that is only bot, an only bot beaver <laughs> building, <laughs> which is hilarious. Uh, yeah, I was thinking maybe we should start building those, but yeah, it's inter it's good to know that they have upgrades kind of to the buildings, right? That is good to know. What's wrong with you? You don't have anywhere to store your biofuel. Is that right? We probably need to build another one of those because biofuel is important for the bots, right? Let's pop one of those here. Put biofuel in that. 
Oh, the catalyst. Hang on. How do we make the catalyst again? Is that a choice we get here? So, uh, I think we need... We need that. So, we might need to... Well, oh, actually, we can repurpose that now, right? Okay, catalyst. And then, let's make the catalyst this the catalyst, then. I think. Is that the way to do it? <laughs> I don't know. I uh, feel ripped off. I uh, would like to make a formal complaint. I did see your nearest cat. Let me find it. Let me find the nearest cat. I think it's probably Andrea now. I don't know where Peggy went, actually. Oh, she's over there. Do you? Uh, she's behind me, but I can grab Andrea if you want. Because we, we've seen Peggy already. Is that what the complaint is, Cleepor? Because I, I did see it. I was just trying to finish what I was doing. Peggy hates me tonight. <laughs> Go, Andrea. Here she comes. Always want Andrea. <laughs> there she is. Does that fulfill... <laughs> Very sleepy, Andrea, I think, actually. Hi. Does that... Uh, f make the complaint go away, Cleepaw? What about an Andrea Tobin? <laughs> Don't blame her, it is late. Yeah, it's getting there. <laughs> Although, yeah, many complaints. It was, in fact, referring to the lack of cat. <laughs> fair, that's fair. Shane, welcome in. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. We've had a lot of uh, chat about the UK today, actually, and the uh, the war between Marmite and Vegemite. What's um What's your take on it? Okay, did I finish sending these beavers to where they needed to go? I don't think I did. Uh, let's see then. I should be kind of probably prioritizing the workplaces better than I do, but yeah. So, two workplaces there. Haven't tried either of those. You haven't tried Marmite. Uh, let's see. Oh, we just had a whole bunch of beavers die of old age there. Two, four, five beavers die of old age. Six beavers die of old age. Uh, there is no war. Marmite have been annexed and we'll, we will not hear from them again. <laughs> Ren, you're going to claim your dual national status uh, and saying flavor of Marmite, texture of Vegemite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Marmite sounds very dangerous to eat, like construction material. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's built. It's built. We don't have a beaver to work there, though. <laughs> uh, that's disappointing. Let's see. We have unemployed beaver here, so let's send them over here. Yeah. To Beaversburg. One, two. Is that enough? No. Keep going. Six, we have three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. Man, and what's this grid like here? Uh, supply is outdoing the... No, it's not. So we need another windmill here for sure. We've got the battery, but yeah. Uh, pet. Probably can't hear me because the ad is in progress. Uh, but Stacy, welcome in. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, heading to work, but saying hi. Uh, have a great day at work, Stacy. Uh, thank you so much for popping in and saying hi. Appreciate that. And let me, just in case pets can't hear me, I'll just say uh, oop, thank you for the lurk, pets, because I don't know if pets is in the ad or not. Uh, they, they may well be. Uh, but yeah, so I think we might, 
we might actually get our first beaver robot here. Uh, that could be super exciting. What? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting technique that they have here. Oh, you can hear. No worries. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you might have uh, gone into the ads or not. But yeah, thank you again for the lurk. Enjoy. Uh, but yeah, this is this is cool. So that's the beaver. That's the bottom of the beaver. Cleepaw, thank you so much for that gifted sub to pets. Well, now we don't need to worry about the ads anyway, <laughs> I guess. Uh, enjoy the ad-free viewing and... Or ad-free lurking, I suppose, in this case. And... The emotes. Okay, let's pop another windmill in here, though, I think. I mean, I'm tempted by the beaver wheels, but... Yeah, I don't know. We're just not... We're not flush with beavers at this point in time. That's the problem, right? Thank you again, Cleepaw, for uh, that gifted sub. Uh, actually, we need to go... What do we do here? Can this one go up? No, yeah, that can. Okay. And then we'll just need to do another one here. Okay, let's um, bring this one around. It's too far from the district. Oof, okay. How do we fix that? Because they can't get in there. I see the problem that we have created here. I've created a problem for myself. Uh, I suppose... If we go across here... Are they going to be able to reach that? Yeah, they can from the top, I suppose. Uh, let's do that. And then... We can just come out of here, right? Up and over. There we go. C uh, can they not reach that? I feel like they're not going to be able to reach it after they've built all that stuff there. Maybe I just build up some stairs there. It's probably the easiest way to do it. <laughs> okay, how's this progress? Whoops, wrong. That's the city skylines control I just tried to use then. 18%. It takes them 36 hours to build a robot beaver. That's reasonable, I suppose. So we have, again, two unemployed beavers. Let's see if we can find employment for them. Where are they? Not there. I'd imagine they're over here. No. Over here. Okay, I just sent beavers over there, though. Do these, these still don't have... Okay, so let's send them there then. See if that will make any difference. Beaversburg to District 9. 1, 2. Do we still have two unemployed beavers there? We also have 10 uh, homeless beavers in Beaversburg. I'm not sure how that happened. I think they just keep growing up. Uh, no worries, Shane. Thank you for that lurk. One, two. Still got one. One just grow up. <laughs> Looks like they're just growing up. That was Dream. Dream grew up. <laughs> it's about time he grew up. Uh, Johannes Beaver to there. Yes. Okay, perfect. Oh, that reminds me, actually. Let's, while we're thinking about that, let's get a Pets Beaver in here. Uh, where are the, the Child Beavers are here? Are they? Wow, that's a lot of Child Beavers. Pets. And we need a Shane Beaver and a Stacy Beaver. Uh, 
and we put the Dava Beaver in already. Cool. Yeah, I did. Yeah, here's the Dava Beaver here. The Dava Beaver is 59% uh, grown up, 60% grown up, <laughs> which seems a little high, actually. <laughs> I would, I wouldn't have expected the Dava Beaver to be that grown up. But yes, I think we're short on housing over here, right? Uh, so let's check that. Yeah, so we need 10, no, 8 housing over here. 8 beaver dwellings over here. Uh, how do we do that? Uh-oh, drought. Incoming droughts. There, I suppose. Uh, just checking, I hadn't missed Dava because that would be incredibly rude. It would be incredibly rude, and I am not an incredibly rude person. So I didn't miss Dava. Uh, let's see. We can have stairs here, maybe. Going up. Oh, auto save, was it? Yep. I don't like this situation, but I don't think there's much I can do about that. You're old? <laughs> uh, we have to do that, and then we'll have to have these like single dwelling ones. A mini lodge. Like this. Like that. And like that. I suppose. I do like a good beaver stack. That's for sure. Nothing wrong with an old beaver. <laughs> uh... I feel like we might need uh, some a storage thing here. Import enabled by storage and workplace demand. Hmm. They've run out of electricity. Yeah, this is where we need the beaver wheel, right? Experienced beaver. <laughs> Yeah, not an old beaver, an experienced beaver. <laughs> good call, Kari, good call. Okay, one unemployed beaver, 13 jobs available. Is it still in here? Yeah. But at least we got some there now, so the potato production might be slightly better. Where's the unemployed beaver? It's over here. So let's go District 9. 1. They're getting through this though. Uh, are these growing up? These should... Ideally what should be happening here is there's just a constant cycle of trees that need uh, chopping down and replanting, right? So it seems to be that that's working now because we've got all of these ones still here and then we've got 70, 80... 90% ones over there too, which is good. I feel like we could even have a a fourth lumberjack. We don't have a beaver to be in it in the job at the moment, but yeah, we'll pop that there. Oh man, electricity's problem though still, isn't it? Is there no beaver there? There is. They're off doing something. Fair. Are we making any catalyst? No. What are we missing? Maple syrup. Why isn't Why isn't that getting imported? I wonder. Do I need maple syrup? Where are we making the maple syrup? Is this the maple syrup? That's pine resin. Uh, 
Uh, is this where they're bringing in the maple syrup? It is. Okay, so what have we got here? That's maple syrup. Yes. Are you sitting around doing nothing? You are. Interesting. Okay. Why aren't they transporting the maple syrup over? That's the question, huh? Let's see. It is marked as being import enabled by storage and workplace demand. I mean, I know I only switched that over recently. Maybe they're still, it's kind of in the works. Why don't I, maybe if I prioritize this, because, uh, I feel like, uh, stores liquids, large tank to check what the biofuel does or the catalyst. Oh, we're missing a beaver there now. We've got homeless beavers again. Oh, they haven't finished the housing. That's why, I suppose. Ah, so the wind has started just in time for the night time to come, which is great. Fantastic. And the battery isn't connected yet either. I don't know that we are going to have our first robot beaver tonight because we're going to have to finish the stream soon. Which is a little disappointing because we're we're so close. We're twenty two percent of the robot beaver, but then we're missing a worker beaver now, as well as the electricity issue. We've been waiting so long. <laughs> yeah, it's been like fifty hours. We've been waiting to <laughs> been waiting to do to do the robot beavers. <laughs> if this power stays up and I feel like if we let's prioritize that so that way at least the we've got two beavers in there and the power is going at the moment they're all going to work now are they? no they're not let's just fast forward through the night here then we'll try we'll try this stupid work, maybe we just close tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> why not? Great idea. Okay, here they come. Two, they've gone in there. Oh, hello. Thank you, Xbox. That's just what I wanted. Okay, 27. I think my head's in the way, but I'll, I'll keep you posted. So, 30% now. 34. I wonder if you... Oh, you do actually kind of get to see them, like, how it's getting made type of thing. Like, it's progressing. 57. This is exciting. I think we will see it after all. We will see it. 64. Oh, look at it. <laughs> That's really cute. Oh. <laughs> Six, uh, seventy percent. Oh, the work day's over. Seventy percent. Triple speed is the only way to play, unless it's paused, right, Ren? I suppose, paused or triple speed. <laughs> Beavers learn how to three D print. It appears they did. Yeah. <laughs> It appears they did. Those are the only options. <laughs> what I shouldn't forget, though, is that there is a drought incoming uh, in a day's time. I would like to ideally have the robot beaver done and stop before the drought starts, but we'll see what happens here. 
Uh, I might just close... Do we close that now? A bit worried about the water again. We've got 4k water, but we just seem to... Yeah, power through that. Hopefully it's a short one. We had a longish drought last time, so... Hopefully this is a shorter one. Okay, here we go. 80%. The D, the A, the V, the A, Dava. <laughs> oh, we've run out of power. Ah, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Okay, let's explode these. Splodificate those. Nice. Ah, uh, we're running out of power, and I feel like the drought is going to come now. And, yeah, we're going to miss it because I'm going to be concentrating on getting these dam levels correct. I'm going to have to... Uh, we'll keep going fast, actually. Oh, here we go. Hang on. 85%. Does Dava ever sleep longer? I don't know if he does. Ninety. Ninety. One. Two. Oh, it's the end of the work day. <laughs> Dang it. So close. Ninety-three percent we're up to. Ninety-three percent. Ah. Okay, this drought though is, yeah, going to cause me problems. Cat time. Let's see. Peggy? <laughs> She's looking at me angrily already. Crank up that beaver. There she is, the Peggy. <laughs> she seems a bit, um, oh, there we go. That's enough, apparently. <laughs> Karina, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Both beaver and pussies. What a stream, <laughs> right? <laughs> what more could you ask for? Uh, let's block that off now, actually. And let's block that off. And let's block... Oh, we should block that off too. Hang on. I'm getting... I got very distracted there by pussies. Oh, these need to be blocked off. That one needs to be blocked off. These need to be blocked off. And we might pause that. I think I messed that one up. Oh, this one over here needs to be blocked off. I always forget that one. Oh, eight days. Eight days. Rough. At least it's not 29 days. Okay. I think we're okay there. Uh, damn wise. Uh, I might... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. That's all used up. That's fine. That's alright. Uh, let's see. How are they doing? 98%. 98%. Uh, that daylight savings makes me forget it's 5am instead of 6am. There it is. There it is. Hang on. Pause. We have a robot beaver. There it is. There it is. Robot Beaver. Uh, every time I see your kitty, the more you feel like getting one for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, The uh, they were saying before that in hard mode, it's a 29-day drought, which is crazy. 
Uh, it's the other way around. The cats get the cat gets you, not you get the cat. <laughs> yeah. So there is our first robot beaver. They are obviously bought. So I don't know. Can you? Yeah, you can see. So age zero. So they're obviously born uh, as an adult, which I guess makes sense. Okay, so we've got biofuel and the catalyst. So the biofuel's here. So whenever the beaver, the robot beaver is uh, like getting low on biofuel, that'll they'll come to here. And then the boost, which is the catalyst that we're trying to create now, which for some reason we can't get the maple syrup to come over here. I don't know why. Uh, that will apparently boost the beaver. So yeah, there, <laughs> there we go. Can we... Does that allow me to follow it? I think it does, right? Uh, oh no, okay. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I keep clicking away, but yeah. I can't follow it without uh, having it lit up like a Christmas tree, apparently. But yeah, there, there is our robot beaver. Apparently unemployed at the moment too, which is, which is interesting. <laughs> it's hilarious. It, it looks like something uh, you recommend getting. Oh, hang on, what? <laughs> I started merging those two lo uh, two things together. Looks like something you could do. Uh, it looks like a box construction, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Lurk, Toby, no worries. We're, um, we're finishing up pretty soon, so we may or may not see you again, but enjoy the Lurk. Uh, so this robot beaver has no workplace and we were just, we just learned that we can upgrade some of these things, right? Ah, so here we go. Only beavers are allowed to work here. Okay, so obviously some things can be upgraded, some things can't. That would be my suspicion. Ah, here we go. So, the grill allows a robot beaver to work there. 500. So, it seems like 500 is the going rate. So, that we've got 5,000 points. Oh, there's 1,000 on that one. So, we've got 5,000. So, we've got a few points stored up here that we can use uh, should we need to. So, Let's see, where where are we lacking? We'll just get this robot beaver employed and then we'll probably end the stream. Bots. Okay, so you can only have one or the other by the looks of it. Yeah, I wish I could figure out why they're not transporting the maple syrup. Supply, obtain. Obtain goods from other warehouses. Let's see if that helps. Uh, unlock this workplace for bots. Let's try this and see what it does. Oh, it's all bots. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Experiment failed. Experiment failed. And now those beavers have all gone elsewhere. <laughs> uh, did you hear your name as you're getting ready? Yeah, we named... Uh, there's a Stacy beaver in here now. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Have this has a Stacy beaver grown up? We name the beavers after everyone in chat when we're playing this game. Uh, I don't think the Stacy beaver has grown up yet. Yeah, no, they're here. Amy, hello, welcome in. There, there's a Stacy beaver. <laughs> now we need an Amy beaver as well. Oh, we need a Karina beaver as well. Uh, how am I? Yeah, going pretty well. We're getting towards the end, though, of the stream, that is. <laughs> Amy and Karina, let's go with this 11%, actually. Karina, there we go. Uh, how are you, Amy? I hope you're doing well. I was like, uh, why are you talking about my beaver? <laughs> now you get it. <laughs> oh, Riri Beaver, thank you, yes. Do do let me know in chat if you, if I've missed you. Uh, let me know. Uh, I know some people, you know, that if you lurk and you don't want it, that's fine. But yeah, if you do, if you do want it, everyone gets one. So, uh, Riri Beaver. You're okay, things? Good, good to hear. 
Go to here. Uh, Robo Saturn Beaver. Yeah. So this this is the robot one. Robo Saturn. Oh no, <laughs> Saren. There we go. Uh, we we got a Kari one, right? I'm pretty sure we did. In fact, I thought they grew up, didn't they? Yeah, there's the Kari one. Uh, oh, sorry, Tilly. I mean, a Robo Tilly Beaver. <laughs> Feel that we need. Yes, but so the Saturn one's all right instead. Planet Zoo uh, has your heart right now. <laughs> Try loading up Sims, and all you could think about was Planet Zoo. Uh, now you're playing that. Yeah, it's um, it's a bit addictive, right? It's a bit addictive, and uh, yeah, I was watching Amy. Was that your... You said you restarted it, Amy, I think. was it. So, it's your second zoo? I was watching Amy stream this morning. Uh, Amy was uh, streaming some Planet Zoo. So, if you're not following uh, Amy, and Ren, if you're available to give Amy a quick shout-out, that'd be amazing. Uh, make sure you follow Amy for some Planet Zoo action. Because uh, it was looking good. Looking really good. Are you dead already? <laughs> no, no, no. You grew up into a uh into a regular adult beaver thank you ren for popping that in there uh where are you working kari let's check you work at the district crossing and you're currently in the lido chilling out what a, what a what a way to be what a way to be um thanks stacy enjoy your day at work if that's possible and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Have a good one. Um, started a new zoo yesterday. Your first zoo was uh, learning how to do this zoo. Well, I'm still currently on my learning how to do this zoo. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll, we'll see how that goes, I guess. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, it is what it is, I suppose. Oh, that area dried up. Man, these, these long droughts are rough. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we have enough water this time. Uh, worried about things drying up here. This is going to dry up for sure, I reckon. Hmm. Especially when they're still pumping water out of it. Click pour. Thank you so much for that gifted sub to Amy. Uh, appreciate that. Yeah, take it easy, Stacy. Uh... Gave up because you didn't like it. Uh, also, th thank you for the chat. No worries, no worries. Always happy to support uh, all the folks coming in and, yeah, doing um, great stuff. That's good to see. Good to see. So, yeah, I think, though, we'll probably have to call it around about here. So, yeah, I think we made good progress today, though. Our Robot Beaver still doesn't have employment, so... <laughs> Uh, we'll have to sort that out next time. I see that we now have an unemployed beaver as well. Uh, sorry, a homeless beaver, which isn't completely ideal. But yeah, we'll um, we'll see how we go with that next time. I definitely don't want to uh, be away from Timberborn for another... What was it, like three and a half weeks? Because that was way too long without um, getting the beaver out. So... Yeah, that was, uh, that was too long between beavers. <laughs> uh, so let's see, who who is on for the raid? Uh, I see Damir is on. Thank you again, Kleepor, for that uh, gift sub there. Uh, let's see. What are we doing here? When uh, when did we raid Damir last? Probably a while ago, I reckon. Uh, 
It might not be... Oh, no, it's there. Okay, 14 days ago. Uh, I mean, I'm tempted to, to raid uh, Critias, but we're not playing Minecraft, so... Dumb is playing a game that's a little bit more like Timberborn. So that kind of makes sense to me <laughs> in my in my brain. Anyone digging holes? <laughs> PLJ's uh, digging holes. What, when did we raid PLJ last? Uh, i got to look at the right thing for that. I think it was pretty recent, wasn't it? Seven days. So Damir uh, takes a cake on that one. Oh, it's re restarted. He's not showing up on my list yet. He must have literally just started. Uh, when did we? When did we raid? Riri last. I think Dami is probably, yeah, it's six days ago. I would, um, no, thanks, Shane. I uh, appreciate that. Yeah, we'll go with Dami, I think. Hold, hold, hold. <laughs> What's happening? Is Dami finishing? Let me open up his stream. I quickly have to mute it. He's only been going an hour and a half. <laughs> Holding. Okay, we're clear. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd hope... Uh, I was thinking actually of maybe a little bit of Sims 4 tomorrow. I don't know what people think about that. Yeah, Dava, get the grammar right. Come on. Yes, Tilly, Sims 4 tomorrow. Because I think it's been a while since I played that too. So, um, we can break out the legacy challenge again. Uh, so, we'll go with that plan then. <laughs> I, I know your opinion on that, Clee. Yeah, but it's been a while. It's been a long time since I've done uh, any Sims 4. Almost two weeks. Has it been only... that? I thought it might have been even longer than that, to be honest. But, yeah. Uh, I think we'll do some Sims 4 Legacy Challenge tomorrow, then. That sounds like people would like that. By people, I mean everyone except Kleepor. <laughs> Horses? Uh, I could bring... We could have the horses come into the Legacy Challenge... Because we kind of finished the the series. What what was the name of that? Clive McCliverson. Um, we kind of finished that horses Clive McCliverson series. A month exactly. I thought it had been quite a while because it had fallen off my um, recently streamed list. I think Timberborn had as well, so I'm not surprised it's been that long. But yeah, we could bring horses into the Legacy Challenge, but the Clive McCliverson series had, had finished. I might pause that. I don't know what's going on there with the drought. So yeah, let's um let's do that. We'll see if we can get horses into the Legacy. I don't know where the hell the horses are going to go on that lot, but we'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. I um do really appreciate it. So, uh, Dami is playing against the Storm, which I think we've raided him once before when he's been playing it. So there's actually beavers in that game too. Uh, so that's quite funny. <laughs> we'll go from, from one beaver game to another. It's not entirely beavers. There's beavers that are involved somehow, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> Let me just quickly run through the... I'm not going to have time to run through it because, Kleepor, you've been so generous. So, Kleepor, thank you for the gift subs to Amy, Pets, Denny, uh, Kari, and also for the 5,000 bits, 
and the 7,250 bits. You've been very, very generous tonight. I really appreciate that generosity. And Ren, uh, of course, thank you as well for the gift sub to Blap. Thank you so much. Uh, so yes, thank you everyone for hanging out and all of that. And let's get the show on the road. So yeah, anyone... Um, Dami does... He's very chill too. This game always confuses me. I um, I get confused at, by it. The after the against the storm or after the storm, but uh, he's he also plays City Skylines. Uh, he's got a really amazing city. Actually, it's like five hundred thousand population or something like that. So uh, even if you don't like the game that he's currently playing, um, drop him a follow when 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 you get there because he does uh, play some other uh, other cool games. And yeah, he's a really he he's a friend of the channel. He'll pop in and he'll learn quite a lot as well. So yeah. Uh, pop in with the raid and drop him a follow. But yeah, thanks everyone so much for being here. I do really appreciate it. I'll hope to see you all again. So it'll be 8 p.m. Australian Daylight Time at, uh, yeah, we'll do some Sims 4 and, uh, try and, try and crack on with the Legacy, uh, challenge. And I'll hope to see everyone then. And yeah, in the meantime, I appreciate the lurkers, appreciate the chatters, and I'll see you all real soon. Catch you later, Tilly, Kari. Catch you later, everyone. I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks, Amy. Uh, yeah, even if it was brief. Glad glad you could pop in. Awesome. Catch you all later.